What on, family? It's your boy, SCNTV. Back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legends. And this episode is going to be about none other than Young Pappy himself. Now, Young Pappy comes from that North Pole, Rogers Paul, PBG to be exact, the insane cutthroat gangsters. They're from Morris to Pratt and from Ashland to Glenwood. PBG, who I'm rolling with, but you already know that shit. PBG takes their name after a guy that was killed that went by the name of Pooh Bear. And he was killed by a guy named Munchie from Loke City. PBG beast with another GD set that goes by the name of Loke City and also a Four Corner Hustler and Vice Lord set that goes by the name of Lil Four Mob. And they also beef with another set of GDs that go by the name of GVG or Day Day World. Pappy has an older brother that goes by the name of BU Double that raps. He also has a younger brother that goes by the name of Tay Sav that raps. A couple of Pappy's most notable acquaintances are Bang the Hitter, PBG Spaz, PBG Sean, and PBG Chemo. Now I said this once and I'm going to say it again. I feel as though Young Pappy is the GOAT of the drill scene. Yes, that's right. I feel like Young Pappy is the best rapper that ever came out of Chicago in the drill scene. Now, once before I did a video and I said that I felt like Pappy was the greatest rapper of all time, but I'm going to recant that. And the reason why I'm going to recant, recant that is because Pappy's career didn't get to where it's supposed to have got to. His life was, was shortened before he actually was able to make it and before he actually was able to do, you know, any major projects for real. I wish the best for You know what I'm saying? I yeah, it was nothing, best. bro. We gonna make it no. out this year. Right, right. Pappy had a rap style that was very unique. It was also very peculiar. His rhyming pattern and the way that he put words together, it was like he was on beat and at the same time he was off beat. And the things that Pappy used to say I don't think that that would be very easily duplicated at all. I think that Pappy had a one of a kind style. And when you hear Pappy, you automatically knew that it was young Pappy. So you mix all of that on the track with the energy that Pappy brought, man, you had to hit damn near every time he got on one. I think that if young Pappy would have never got killed, PBG and TFG would definitely be on right now. Pappy, ended up being a lot bigger after he died than he was when he was alive. Um, a lot of times in Chicago, it ends up that way. You know what I'm saying? It's like people praise you a lot more when you're dead than alive. And like I said in my last Pappy video, give me my love now. Don't wait until I die to, you know, want to, um, you know, play my song a million times and, you know, give me all that fan support and that love that you should have been showing me before I left this world. You see what I'm saying? Now, Pappy got a lot of his fame, too, from dissing. Pappy dissed a lot of guys. And Pappy's guys dissed a lot of guys. You know, this is why after Pappy got killed, he was dissed so much. Now, Pappy was a very, very, very well-loved member throughout PBG. Why do I say that? Because, for one, Pappy was actually... Pappy was actually that bridge for PBG and TFG out of the hood, out of Chicago, on to bigger and better things. Then he ended up getting killed. Pappy actually has three friends that were very close to him when he was alive that is locked up right now for murders that they committed, allegedly, because people were dissing him. So that just goes to show you the magnitude of love that, you know, his guys had for him. So Pappy was a, a very well-loved member. And a lot of people don't know, but Pappy actually went on a lot of hits. Um, there was a few guys of Pappy's, one uh, notably being PBG Chemo, that said, um, and I quote, it was an honor doing hits with Pappy. You see what I'm saying? And I seen also one video where Pappy was on his ops block outside of his ops house telling dude to come outside. And dude ended up calling the police on him. So Pappy was definitely about that life. Come out. Terrence G, baby, come out. Y'all see that? Come out. Papa. 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 Nobody comes outside. Uh-huh. 
Look, this is all they do is whoop. Look at him. That's all he do is whoop. You a bitch. You a bitch, shorty, and your mama a bitch. Your mama saving you, bitch. Yo, OG saving him. OG saving him. He ain't popping out. Got they whole hood high. Whole hood high. Look at them. Nah, we out of here, though. What you doing? I just got out of here on them. Damn it. But ain't on him. Look, he only one bitch, though. You know shit. We out of there. Fuck that. We out of there. So they out here what they stay in. Mm -mm. So this nigga just called the police, folks. That's crazy, folks. Folks just called the police, G. He just called Jackie on us, folks. G, buddy, folks, what the fuck, G? What happened, man? What was going on? Man, folks don't want to come outside. Man, he said he's gonna pop out. He talking about blow, blow, blow. I tell him I'll blow through your window. <laughs> He said, he said, I won't blow this bitch. That's what he said. Whole time, he a bitch. He ain't had no pole, did you? No pole at all. I seen both of his hands. He to my, hey, Bobby, come in my hallway. Swear to your whole clan on those. Twelve ass niggas, man. Pappy, in his music, he has started doing a whole lot of dissing. Like, Pappy has a lot of songs, and he has a couple songs, you know, that's not dissing, but most of Pappy's work was dissing. And a lot of guys didn't like that. So after the dissing went on, the dissing went on, the dissing went on. And like I tell y'all, it's different when, when, when somebody dissing your guys or something like that. And, you know, they don't really know what's going on or they didn't have nothing to do with it. I mean, yeah, it's disrespectful, but it's disrespectful on another level. And it hits another nerve when the guys that are dissing your dead guys are actually the one that has something to do with the demise of your dead guys. You see what I'm saying? So, a lot of sets have began trying to kill young Pappy. I swear I'm the wrong nigga to shoot at. Cause you can hide, but I'm gonna find whatever you have. And I think that by Pappy blowing up and doing the dissing at the same time, doing the numbers, dissing, you know, dead guys, this grew, uh, you know, this made, you know, this grew a, a heavy hate for young Pappy. And this made young Pappy a number one target. You see what I'm saying? Because Pappy, people all over the world was beginning to tune in to Pappy. And so that's more and more people, more the more and more fans that he's getting, that's the more and more people that's hearing Pappy, you know, diss they dead guys. So it had became very dangerous to be around Pappy. And like I said, before Pappy died, they tried to kill him twice. And each of those times, a different person ended up dying. Not to mention, it was said that the reason why his friend Two Cups ended up getting killed is because Pappy had shot at some guys. That's the reason why he took the death of Two Cups so hard. And the Chicago Sun-Times reads, Thomas had twice been the target in shootings that instead killed innocent bystanders, William Lewis and Marquis O'Carr, according to authorities. Lewis, 28, was standing in the 1300 block of West Devine Avenue on July 12th when a gunman walked up and shot him in the back, authorities said. Prosecutors say 31-year-old conservative vice lord Eric Vaughn spotted a rival gang member and handed 15-year-old Denzel Burks a gun. Burke and 17-year-old Michael Phillips then chased the rival through Rogers Park. Burke fired 10 times, missing the rival, striking Lewis in the back as he stood at a nearby bus stop, prosecutors said. On February 5th, 2014, a masked gunman fatally shot Carr, 17, and wounded three others in the McDonald's parking lot in the 6700 block of North Clark Street. The victims had been in an argument with another group of people shortly before the masked gunman approached, police said. Now, the thing that don't sit right with me when it comes to Pappy's death is this. For one, Pappy was killed right in his own neighborhood. For two, Pappy was shot in the back four times. So it had to be up close and personal. And the reason why I say that is because it's hard to hit somebody in the back doing a drive-by or shooting for very far because just by natural reaction, as soon as you hear gunshots, you're going to hit the floor, you're going to dash, you're going to run forward, you're going to do something. You're not just going to stand there. So... For him to have four shots in his back, that tell me that he was walking with somebody that he knew and that he was close to, and they literally shot Pappy in the back. He was backdoored. I've always felt like this. 
but PBG Chemo confirmed it. You feel me? I, I ain't no op kill, bro. You feel me? And bro know that. You feel me? Motherfuckers back door, bro, and we gonna find out. I promise you we gonna find out. A couple things that we can learn from the death of young Pappy. One being, I think it's just better for everybody, for the universe, for us to just let the dead rest. If it's a nigga walking around here that you feel like don't need to be walking around here and that you feel like in your heart that it's deep enough for you, for you to have to take him out, then handle your business. But we can't wake the dead back up and do nothing. To, like, they, they gone. It's, there's no more of them. You see what I'm saying? So this dissing the ops, the dead ops at that, I've always said this and I'm going to continue to say this. It's a no-go. Also, in the streets, you can't never trust nobody. It's a very, very, very cold game. And you know what? Jealousy and envy is at the top of that list when it comes to motherfuckers doing snake shit and disloyalty. Whoever killed Pappy nine times out of ten seen the direction Pappy was going and knew for a fact that if he lived, he was gonna be great. You gotta watch your back out here in these streets, man. You ain't got no friends. As long as you gang banging, you don't got no friends. Motherfucker, you won't even be doing, you won't even be as nowhere near in life where you wanna be. But the next person to be looking at you from the outside in thinking you got everything. Thinking you just living a, an American dream. When the whole time you struggling just like everybody else. You trying to you trying to make it. Sometimes people will see that light in you and they know that they can't grasp that light or get that light out of you because that light is within the essence of you. And they know that the only thing that they can do to dim that light is kill you. But when you talking about people like Pappy, immortals, what is an immortal? An immortal is someone that can't die because even though his flesh is not still here, we still represent for Pappy. So guess what? His spirit is always going to be here as long as we continue to do that. It'll, it's a lot of life lessons that can be learned in the life, times, and deaths of some of these guys. It's up to us to learn them. It's your boy, SCN TV. I'm out. But that's still not enough, shorty. Try me if you tough, shorty. I ain't got a bus. I pay a hustle to get you touched, shorty. My shorties be thirsty because they know I did too much, shorty. They shoot for two cups and they ain't even no two cups, shorty. You can ask my pops. I ain't never gave a fuck, shorty. Silence on my clock a few shots. Bet you hush, shorty. Face shots say fuck the casket. We made a bus, shorty. Pockets full of dead presidents like Mount Rush, shorty. I ain't smoking no chronic. I speak in the bonnets for Nessie 100. Focus on making some money. Get on the track and go dummy. Bitches to rap like a mummy. I'm a human tsunami. Shoot up your block with a Tommy. As soon as they see me, they run it. Niggas, they know how I'm coming. Hop out the car and I'm dumping. Bag it and flip it, no fumble. Paper, I'll wash it, no tumble. I am so humble. I am so ready to rumble. Swing at your face and you stumble. Nigga, I do what I wanna. Just to be honest. Nigga, I do what I wanna. Just to be honest. Just to be honest. Nigga, I do what I wanna. Just to be honest. Just to be honest. Just to be honest.